You're welcome to Logos of Flame Daily Devotional Podcast. Be blessed as you listen. August 21st. Today's topic is, What is your motive for serving God? Most churchgoers are familiar with the story of Job, but I am sure that because of its initial tragic coloration, many will say, that is not my portion. In our reading from the first chapter today, we see how God boasted about Job, saying, he is the finest man in all the earth. He is blameless, a man of complete integrity. He fears God and stays away from evil. Job 1.8, New Living Translation. This was an outstanding report by God himself. The quick question here is, if God were to issue an assessment report of me and you today, what would he write about us? Satan had the audacity to accuse Job of serving God because of God's protection and material blessings. So God permitted Satan to take away those material things so that Satan could be proved wrong and God could be vindicated. Today, a lot of us are fair-weather Christians who serve God at our own convenience and go to church for miracles. We seek the Lord for protection, prosperity, and healing, which are necessities, while God has adequately provided for those who believe these things are not all there is to life in Christ Jesus. Paul said in Philippians 1.26, the message version, there's far more to this life than trusting in Christ. There's also suffering for him, and the suffering is as much a gift as the trusting. The trial of our faith can come in any form the Lord chooses, but we will be able to bear it and prove the devil wrong and establish that we are not serving the Lord just for material blessings, but because of who he is and the price he paid to save us. Can we individually boldly say, I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38 to 39, New King James Version. Our knowledge of the love of God through Christ Jesus is what gives us the determination to follow him no matter what we may face. There are believers in various parts of the world who are going through severe persecution. Some are on death row. Some have lost all and some family members' money and material possessions yet they refuse to deny Christ. I pray that the Lord will grant us the grace to stand firm to the end. Personal Reflections 1. Are you fully persuaded to follow Jesus no matter what may come your way? 2. Pray for the persecuted Christians all over the world today. Will you make a commitment to pray for them often? Our Bible reading is from Job 1, 1 through 3, 26, 1 Corinthians 14, 1 to 17, Psalm 37, 12 to 29, Proverbs 21, 25 to 26. Our memory verse is from Job 1, 10, using the New Living Translation. You have always put a wall of protection around him and his home and his property. You have made him prosper in everything he does. Look how rich he is. We would love to hear from you. Please send your messages and prayer requests to our email, office at logosofflameministries.org 
or visit our Facebook page, Logos of Flame Ministries, and drop a message. God bless.